Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. This is the next video in our Math in Minutes series, Algebra 1. And today we're going to look at solving two-step inequalities. In other words, you need to do two things in order to solve it, and they're all inequalities. So let's go ahead and get started. An inequality is simply an equation that has a greater than or less than sign. It could be greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to also. It's going to look something like this. 4w minus 4 is greater than or equal to 2. Now when I solve these problems, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I pretend like that inequality is an equal sign. And I keep it as an equal sign until I get done. And then I go back and look at the inequality. So let's do the same here. You've solved two step equations before. So you know you want to get rid of that 4, move it away from the 2w. You end up with 2w equals 6. And now to separate the 2 and the w, you divide by 2. w equals 3. And then you ask yourself, did I multiply or divide by a negative number? Well, here's where I divided, but I divided by positive 2, so I did not multiply or divide by a negative number. If that's the case, I'm going to use this inequality and leave it exactly the way that it is. w is greater than or equal to 3. That's my solution. Sometimes when you do these problems, however, they look a little bit different. 2 is greater than 3 minus f. Students always want to put the variable on the left side of the equation. That is not necessary. And in fact, it just complicates things unnecessarily. So it makes things much more complicated than they have to be. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. Again, pretend like it's an equal sign. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 equals negative f. And again, remember, negative f simply is negative 1 times f. We don't write the negative 1 because we're basically lazy, but that's what it means. So to get that separated, to separate those two which are multiplied, I'm going to divide by negative 1. Now, as soon as I say divide by and there's a negative number, that should set up a little flag for you that you're going to have to do something with that later. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. And negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. So 1 equals f. But it doesn't really equal f because this is an inequality problem. I just have to decide what direction this is going to go. If I multiplied or divided by a negative number, it's going to switch directions. And I did divide by a negative number. So it becomes 1 is less than f. This is where a lot of students get into trouble because they want to put the variable on the left side of the equation. It's totally unnecessary. However, if your teacher prefers it that way, work your problem all the way down. And then look at this. The opening is next to the f. The big part is next to the f. It's f is greater than 1. 1 is less than f. So I can write it like this as well. You see how the opening, the big part, is next to the f and the big part is next to the f? You want to make sure that if you have to change the, the side that your, inequality, or that your variable is on, that you keep that opening exactly the same. So whatever it's next to, that's what it's next to when you change it. Let's do a couple more problems just to make sure you have this down. Again, these are no more difficult than doing a, a two-step equation. The only difference is you have to ask yourself that question. Did I multiply or divide by a negative number? So here's another one. h over 3 plus 11 is greater than or equal to 7. Again, I'm going to pretend in my mind, and in, I'll write it down if I have to, that this is an equal sign. If that was an equal sign, I know that I need to subtract 11 from both sides. And I get h over 3 is greater than or equal to 7 minus 11, opposite sign, so I subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. It's going to be negative 4. Now this is the same as h divided by 3. Opposite of division is multiplication. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. h is greater than or equal to negative 12. 
but I'm not done until I ask myself, have I multiplied or divided by a negative number? I subtracted. My answer is negative. But when I multiplied, I multiplied by a positive number. So my inequality stays the same. And that is my solution. Let's do one more problem. Keep in mind when you do these problems that they are not always pretty numbers. Sometimes they're ugly numbers. And when you have ugly numbers, if it's allowed by your teacher, go ahead and use a calculator. It's going to make life easier for you, like this problem. Could you do it by hand? Probably. Should you do it by hand? Mm, might not be necessary. First thing I want to do is move the 773 over, so I'm going to subtract 773 because that's the opposite of addition. And I get k over negative 17 is less than, let's say I don't know what that is. I do know what it is, but let's pretend like we don't know what it is. 766 minus 773. And I see my answer looks like negative 7. Can you see that? I think you can. Well, suddenly it seems like a little bit easier of a problem because negative 7 is a whole lot smaller than those. But I still have this negative 17 here. That's a division, k divided by negative 17. So to get rid of division, I use multiplication. I'm going to multiply by negative 17. Did you hear what I just said? Multiply by a negative number. Put a little star or an x or somewhere somehow signify to yourself that you did multiply by a negative number. These 17s are canceled out. Negative 7 times negative 17. The answer is 119. K, 119. But because I multiplied by a negative number, instead of the less than sign going to the left, the less than sign goes to the right. And the answer is K is greater than 119. If you have any questions about linear inequalities or anything else for Algebra 1, please leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks and have a great day.